NIOCORP's Elk Creek Project will establish Nebraska as a global leader in the production of niobium, scandium, and titanium. These critical minerals are vital to America's defense, transportation, infrastructure, and clean energy future. Niobium is a powerful steel additive. Virtually every steel chassis vehicle on the planet uses niobium to become stronger, lighter, and more fuel efficient. It is vital to aircraft engines and power generation turbines. It enables stronger and longer lasting bridges, buildings, and other large infrastructure projects. It's key to many defense technologies, in the air, on the ground, and at sea. An exciting new application for niobium is next generation solid state lithium ion batteries. These allow electric vehicles to recharge in as fast as six minutes. That's a real game changer for our EV future. As important as niobium is to America's economy and our national defense, the U.S. is 100% dependent upon foreign nations for niobium. Scandium is another powerful alloying agent. What niobium does for steel, scandium does for aluminum making it much stronger and able to be reliably welded. As such, scandium can significantly lightweight commercial jetliners, military planes and ships, electric and hybrid vehicles, and many others. Scandium is key to saving energy and reducing greenhouse gas emissions. But as powerful and valuable as scandium is to America, the U.S. is 100% dependent on foreign nations for this critical mineral, especially from China. Titanium is a third critical mineral that NIOCORP intends to produce as a byproduct of niobium and scandium production. Titanium is vital to many industries, from aerospace to medical devices to paints and pigments to the protective armor used by the men and women of our armed services. More than 90% of the mass of the F-35 fighter jet is titanium. Unfortunately, the U.S. is highly dependent on foreign nations for titanium mineral concentrate, including from Russia. NIOCORP's production in Nebraska will help America make more of our own niobium, scandium, and titanium. But the Elk Creek ore body also contains rare earth elements. In fact, it is America's second largest indicated rare earth resource. Separating and purifying rare earths is a technical challenge, but NIOCORP team members have years of experience in producing, marketing, and selling separated rare earth oxides at commercial scale. To pursue the possible addition of rare earths to the Elk Creek project, NIOCORP commissioned the construction of a metallurgical demonstration plant in Quebec. There, the highly experienced team at L3 Process Development is demonstrating that high purity magnetic rare earth products can indeed be made from Elk Creek ore. They also are proving a new and simpler process for making NIOCORP's niobium, scandium, and titanium, one that promises to reduce costs, improve yields, and sequester carbon dioxide. NIOCORP was on site at the plant in Quebec recently to inspect its operations. Here is what they found. When we first engaged with L3 to do this demonstration plant up here in, in Trois-Rivières, Quebec, one of the innovative ideas they had was uh, to print uh, the, the solvent extraction equipment that we needed using 3D printers. And this is a really cool idea. Uh, because when you start talking about doing rare earth extractions, rare earth separations, you need many, many steps to achieve the kind of product quality and, and purity that the market demands. And of course, you could go out and buy this equipment uh, from vendors, uh, but the lead time uh, for that equipment has, has always been a challenge. Uh, so what L3 brought to us was the idea that they could uh, use 3D printers to print these little solvent extraction cells, as we see behind me here. Uh, they can do that very quickly, and they can tailor the design to exactly the separation that we need. So it's a really nice solution, very cost-effective solution to doing rare separations at this kind of demonstration plant scale. I saw some tremendous progress, number one, and the thing that captured my attention more than anything else 
was the safety procedures that people are following here, the way they get along, the way that they can't wait to help us get this further along. They're grabbing me and pulling me off to the side and saying, look here, we're doing extraction. I mean, this is, this is an exciting day. These people like what they're doing and they're really doing it well. I think our message to them was, I know we're always pressuring you to, to do things faster and faster, but when you're doing metallurgy, quality has to be job one. And we really sent that message today. Let's make sure we do it right. Well, I think certainly uh, all of us in NioCorp would hope that the progress on the plant would have gone a little bit faster. But we have to keep in mind what the objective is here. We do want a high quality uh, product from our demonstration plant work. And at the same time, uh, there are some things, some aspirational goals that I've, I've given the team uh, that we really want to make sure we do a good job uh, because there's some, some pretty good economic benefits that come with them. As an example, when we look at our optimized flow sheet, there's the potential, if we're successful, to increase the recovery of niobium, to increase the recovery of titanium over and above what we have in our existing flow sheet. Uh, we need to establish what we can do uh, in terms of rare earth recovery and, and the purity of those products that we want to make. And, and certainly uh, there's enough economics there to really make us uh, take a hard look at this and make sure we're doing a very good job at it uh, before we say we're, it's all over and done with. We need to keep in mind that this is all existing technology. We're not adding any new technology. Having said that, we're doing a few things in maybe a slightly different sequence that is different than what's been done before and the results have been very exciting. Exciting enough that we will actually be filing some provisional patents on some of the work that we're doing up here. That's how new it is, that's how good it's working. We're, we're, we're thrilled. You know, it was really encouraging to see the result we got at the demonstration plant scale uh, from the calcium and magnesium extraction. Uh, we had done this at the bench scale. Uh, obviously, we had some good data there, and, and we were pleased with what we saw. But it's always another thing to do it uh, on a continuous basis and, and to come up with a result where we really have something that's a high-purity product, uh, much better quality than we thought initially that we'd be able to achieve. You know, we're working really hard on one area in particular, which is the rare earth extraction and, and recovery. Um, we hope to have some information out on that in the very near future. Uh, but this is, this is exciting for the United States. We haven't produced rare earth oxides in the United States for years. And it, I don't know if we'll be the first, that's not really the important point. The point of the matter is we are going to be making magnetic rare earth oxides in the United States. And that, that is something that this country needs, the EV world is going to need, the, the major uh, automobile manufacturers of the world are going to need, and that's why we're having so many meetings with potential offtake partners. This is critical to the United States. Even back in the Mountain Pass days, we tried so hard to get people to understand why rare earth was so important to have mined and processed in this country. And they'd get it for a little while and then it'd die off. And they'd come back and they'd get it and it'd die off. I think with EVs and, and the direction that the world is trying to head right now, I think maybe they get it. And niobium is the same thing for strengthening steel, for our infrastructure that we're looking at doing a, a big revamp on, right? The infrastructure in this country is many years old. There's a lot of bridges out there that are right now, they're looking at them because they need to be replaced. That's niobium steel, right? Titanium, same thing. Timep has been going up and down. You get supplies from Russia, it affects everything. China affects everything. These materials need to be mined in this country and processed in this country. We need to quit relying on other countries for it. We're finding out that's not such a good idea. Demonstration plan operations are expected to continue through the end of this year, although results of various testing, including rare earth recovery rates, are expected to be announced as those tests are completed.